Hello, my name is Meredith with the Mountain View Regional Library. Today I'm going to be reading Amy Wu and the Perfect Bow. And that's bow, not bow. Amy Wu and the Perfect Bow by Kat Jang, illustrated by Charlene Chua. Amy can do a lot of things. She can brush her teeth. She can tie her shoe. She can even do both at once, sort of. But there's one thing Amy cannot, cannot do. She cannot make the perfect bow. Sometimes they come out too small. Sometimes they come out too big. Sometimes she adds too much filling. Sometimes not enough. And sometimes they fall apart before they reach her mouth. Amy's mom and dad make perfect bow. So does her grandma. Their bow are soft and fluffy and so, so delicious. Amy could eat them all day. Sometimes she does. Today, Amy is going to do it. She's going to make the world's most perfect bow. Here's her perfect bow plan. Step one, add, get the tools. Step two, the ingredients. Here's Amy making the best bow and eat. Sounds like a good plan. Bow is making an all day event. Amy's dad starts in the morning mixing together the ingredients for the dough. Then it's time to knead, knead, knead. He pushes the dough. He punches the dough. Amy gives it a try too. They leave the dough to rise. Amy keeps an eye on it just in case. It grows bigger and bigger and even bigger. Amy's dad squishes the dough down just in time. He rolls it into a log and cuts it into pieces. Meanwhile, Amy's mom seasons meat for the filling with garlic, mushrooms, ginger, salt and pepper. Sounds delicious. Everyone gathers around the table and rolls up their sleeves. It's time to get to work. Amy's first bow turns out a little funny. So does the second. It's hard to know how much filling to add. Too little and the bow is sad and empty. Too much and whoops. It's a good day for the kitty though. They get to eat the stuff that falls out. It's also hard to pinch the bow shut just right. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Amy watches her mom make a perfect bow. She watches her dad make a perfect bow. And her grandma too. Even she made two perfect bows. They all try to teach her. Roll out the dough like this, says Amy's dad. Use just enough filling, says Amy's mom. Pinch, 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 says Amy's grandma. But Amy's bow just aren't the same. They are too empty or too fat. They have holes in them. They leak. Maybe today won't be the day after all. Maybe Amy just can't make 
a perfect bow. Then Amy has an idea. The pieces of dough were cut for grown-up hands. But Amy's hands are very small. She whispers her idea into her grandma's ear. Amy's grandma cuts each piece of dough into two smaller pieces, Amy size pieces. Now they fit perfectly in Amy's palms. Carefully, Amy rolls the dough so it's thicker on the inside and thinner at the edges. She adds just the right amount of filling. She pinch, pinch, pinches it shut. And there it is, Amy's perfect bow. Ta-da! She makes another and another and even more after that. She's a bow making master. Soon all the dough and filling are gone. Everyone is tired, but they're not done yet. Amy's grandma boils a big pot of water. It's time to steam the bow. Amy keeps an eye on the steamer, just in case. All her perfect bow, and all the imperfect ones too, are snug inside. The bow are done. Amy's mom lifts the lid off the steamer. Whoosh! Out comes a puff of steam. Amy can't see anything at all. The steam clears. There are Amy's perfect bow. They are not too small. They are not too big. They have just the right amount of filling and they do not leak. They are soft and fluffy and so, so delicious. Amy eats one, then another. Then she eats one of the not so perfect bow. And you know what? It tastes just as good. And there's Amy sharing her bow with students at her school. And this book is awesome because it comes with the family recipe at the end with all the instructions. So you can be determined and make the perfect bow as well. Thanks for listening to the story, Amy Wu and the Perfect Bow.